Hi there. Can I get a uh, keto cold brew with vanilla and chocolate mac? Thank you. Have a great morning. You as well. All right guys, so today is November 3rd. I just arrived to the American College of Physicians Research Conference for Southern Nevada. Luckily, it is here at my school, which is super convenient. And yeah, like I said, I just got here. I am pretty excited to present some of my research. I am presenting one of the projects that I did a poster on about a month and a half ago. And since submitting uh, to present at this conference, I've been able to submit that paper for publication, which is exciting. And DePaul is also gonna be presenting at today's conference. He's presenting one of our other projects, which we actually submitted for publication like two days ago. So hopefully both those papers get published. That would be really, really awesome. This is a project we have been very passionate about, we've worked very hard on. So the way this is gonna work is I have five minutes to present my project. I'm gonna go through through everything, the background, why we did the project, the methods, the results, and the conclusions, the discussion, everything that's important about the project. And after that, I'm gonna have three minutes of questions from the judges or from just other audience members. And so it's about eight minutes total. I'm a little bit nervous. I admittedly did not get to practice timing it out as much as I wish I did. I probably should have spent a little bit more time doing it, but I have a couple of notes here that I'm gonna make sure that I go through and just hit all these talking points. And hopefully there's a way to track my time because they will cut you off if you go over five minutes. They're just gonna tell you time and then they'll start questions. So hopefully I can keep everything within five minutes. Uh, but anyway, I need to start heading in. I'm gonna go do my presentation. I'm gonna sit in for DePaul's presentation as well. And then after we're both done presenting, we'll kind of reconvene and then tell you guys how it went. What's up? What's up? What's up? Dude, you look so much better than I do, Jeez. Uh, you look like <laughs> casual resident type. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a try hard medical student. Let me park. Okay. All right guys, so I just got back in my car. Uh, the symposium went pretty well. The oral presentations were a little bit nerve wracking. I was definitely nervous when I was doing it, but I don't know, I felt confident once I got rolling. Uh, my classmates did very well. And right now I'm actually gonna go home, kind of like, uh, kind of change clothes and everything. And then I'm actually gonna meet DePaul on main campus later at the library. And I think when we get there, we're gonna talk a little bit more about the symposium and kind of like the whole process of like submitting for a presentation or a symposium. Good news. Okay, we're all here together as a family. Oh, God. What's, you want to hear the bad news? Coffee, bean, and tea leaf is no. closed. No! <laughs> the co all the coffee places are closed? We you can get, promised me coffee. We, we can get K-Cups, but they're so weak. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I, dude, I, I don't think I can get any work done. All right, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go find caffeine, and then we'll get started, because... I expected coffee when I got here, and now I'm just I'm so mad. Sorry. I'll go get you some caffeine. Mark, what do you want? I added some to our drive. Got this monster for you, this monster for me. Let's get started, let's be productive. Let's, let's get this session started.
All right, guys. So we just got done with a pretty long, a really long day. Product, yeah, yeah, long day. We just had a about five hour productivity session, uh, just working on some research projects. But we had our <laughs> conference this morning. Yeah, with yeah. the ACP. It was pretty good. Uh, we both did an oral presentation, as you guys saw earlier in the vlog, and we kind of just wanted to take a second to kind of talk about like. I guess the projects that we submitted just broadly, how we got started with them and how we kind of progressed to, you know, getting them sent out for publication, presenting at this symposium, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I think first and foremost, this was both of our first oral presentation. Yeah, it was. It uh, very, uh, it was a little bit nerve wracking. A little nerve wracking. Yeah. I think for me, uh, didn't realize that five minutes was not enough time to get through the entire thing. Um, but it was a good experience. Yeah, it really was. Uh, this was both of our medical education projects, which I know we've talked about a lot. It is nice to finally have submitted both of those projects for publication. It's like a relief it's to like, get those relief. like papers like off of our hands, and now it's just a waiting game and hoping. So basically, we found these projects because the med ed kind of uh, researcher at our school had a couple ideas for projects. We picked it up uh, together as well as a couple of our other classmates and we kind of worked on it and we're basically kind of just looking at how COVID-19 impacted first year medical students. That's kind of like the broad <clears throat> overview. Um, so we ran this study, we ran, you know, we kind of designed it, it involved survey, it involved a bunch of other metrics and everything. And it was actually slow at first because we like stopped putting attention to well, it. Well, it was like the end of the year. We were all also doing like different summer projects. So like all of us that were on this yeah. COVID project, like med ed project, stopped working on the med ed project until like halfway through the summer when it was, I think it was me who was like, you pe you picked it up. I kind of picked it yeah. back up and I was like, Hey guys, like I started working on this again. I know we haven't really talked about this project in a while. Um, I think I just had extra free time. My, my actual like summer work wasn't really progressing very quickly. So I just had extra free time. And so we kind of just got it started again. And that was our first experience writing a paper because we had all the results, everything was ready to go, but we had to put like words on paper, which was- Yeah, and that's, yeah. that's the hard part. I think th that's what you're good at. And uh, for example, I did all the data analysis and stuff. It's really nice to have a paper that you know the results for, yeah. and uh, that might inform some of your literature review. It helps with the methods, because we had a survey sent out. We know what uh, data analysis types, we know t-tests, uh, yeah. means, averages, stuff like that. So the, pap the paper was set out in chunks. We just needed to start writing it. And that yeah. was like the most like friction filled step, right? Yeah. But once yeah. we did, it got flowing. The first draft looked terrible. It was like our first experiences writing any sort of paper. Um, it went through a lot of revisions and it got to the point where eventually we decided to turn it into two papers, which is why we both presented two different presentations today off the same project. It's because one paper basically looked at things that happened. The second paper basically looked at correlations. The TLDR is that we basically just had a lot of like results and it just wouldn't fit into one paper. So we split it into two, but that was again, a learning process. The second paper was way easier to write than the first one because- Well, the thing is that you, grow as a researcher you grow as a writer yeah. and i think uh second paper was not only was it shorter it was an extension of the first paper and yeah. it, it got knocked out in a matter of less than a month less I than think. a month yeah. and i think because we had finished the first paper we just have like this momentum we've got the second paper submitted for publication you know hopefully it'll get accepted that was earlier this week we submitted it but a few weeks ago we submitted our abstracts for both those projects to the uh, conference that was today and that was also something we want to touch on is like hearing about conferences because you guys asked us about that. So that one we heard kind of word of mouth almost. I, I think it was word of mouth. I know that the internal medicine group was really like pushing it. I, yeah. I don't have a good like way of hearing about conferences. I wish no, I heard more about yeah. conferences. A lot of the conferences we hear about are word of mouth. Like in fact, someone today literally told us about like an abstract like deadline like just yeah. in our like group yeah. chat that they heard about from something else they sat on. So basically I think getting involved with like different interest groups. That would be big. That's a big one because yeah. these different interest groups will hear about different symposiums and conferences for their like respective specialties or interests. Um, also like specific journals will have, um, you know, uh, conferences for their specific journal and like the different kinds of 
things that usually get published in those journals. So that's a good way to like keep a, keep an eye out on the journals that like are related to the things yeah. you're interested in. And sometimes organizations will have conferences too. Like we have a medical society yeah. here in town and they're going to have a conference in January, for yeah. example. So that's something we're looking for. Or even to like as well. AAMC like has a conference as well. Yeah. Um, and then also asking your advisors. So we sent out a couple proposals this week for a med ed conference next March or something. March. We only know about yeah. that because the advisor knew about them because obviously he does research in the field. So I think basically the overall message is like kind of just network with like people and like get involved in different interest groups, talk to different advisors, find out if they know when conferences are coming up. And I think that's the way to hear about these things. And that's kind of what's worked for us. And that's why we were able to do our presentation today. Anyway, it's been a super long day. I have a soccer game in 15 minutes, which hopefully goes a lot better <laughs> than last week's game goes. So yeah, let's head over to the game. Get in, go! 